And what's up, y'all? And welcome to another episode of the For All Nerd Show, the voice of the urban geek. And as always, in the captain's chair, it is your boy, DJ Ben I mean, aka Halal Jordan, aka Bubba Gumption, <laughs> aka Charlie Brownish, aka Light Work Yagami, Method Man Splaining, Meek Mill House. Keep that same energy on when you see me, Quantum Leech, a baby Max, Premium Peter Parker, Chris Radnorock. Big Dick Grayson energy effort. Black, <laughs> Black Goliath, Yolo Baggins, Lando Californication, the Ghost in the Shell Toe, the Kevin Bacon of the Internet's here on the spaceship, the For All Nerds show. Like I said before, the multicultural maestros. And as always, I'm joined by Tatiana King Jones, the Grand Duchess of Tech, also known as Sean Jean Luc Picard, V for Def Jam Vendetta, Rita Ara Chimaru. Stone Cold Steve Florson, Gem and the Holla Fan, Victorious Secret Wars, Dora the Explorer, Milliche, Dane <laughs> Diner Dash, Aaron Yeagerbaum, the Arc Android 18, Chakala Bread, Toffee Baratheon, and Gin and Juice Urso. Right, 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 right as rain. And in the third seat, we have Young Technical Difficulties because I had to restart his start. <laughs> my, my. <laughs> My recorder about 85 times, but you know, this is what we do. It's live, it is direct, and it is me. It's your friend. Hello, friends. My name is Jeff J, aka Neil Deadass Tyson, Miles Morassets, Earth, Wind, and Firestorm, Travis Scott Summers, LeVar Bourbon, Backer Vance Astro. I am Inuyasha Fierce, Legion in <laughs> You, Daywalker, Texas Ranger, Brainiac. Five racks, Han Solo, Booster Gold League, Jeff Hardy B, Dwayne Wade Wilson, Seven of Nine Nine Problems, and Facts the Destroyer. We so wait, did you just read all of them this time? I you don't lied. read. I don't know what you're talking about. If you lied to me. <laughs> you lied to me and told me you would have nothing new. What was it? I do not have to lie to kick it. First of all, what is a Jeff Hardy one? Did you say Jeff Hardy B? Wow. <laughs> That's really real. I, I got to give you that. That's really real. Jeff Hardy B, you know? We are over here getting as ridiculous as the Bodega <laughs> Boys in the length of our AKAs. But Shout out always, to Rodimus Prime, who, who, who's trying to call us out on that. First of all, get the hell out of our show run. Get the hell out of our Google Docs. <laughs> oh, well, y'all mad. Now he said, he said um, Rodimus Prime, man, he said... Uh, you know, at this point, I'm surprised you guys don't have an hour long episode where 59 minutes is just your AKA. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we could do that. You know, this is the For All Nerd show. You know, we got a lot of AKAs. We want you to keep that same energy on when you see us. But, you know, we're going to get to all that good stuff. So now that we've gotten past our introductions, like we said before, make sure you're subscribed on iTunes, on YouTube, so you can see our beautiful faces right here shining every week. The For All Nerd Show. Thank you to everyone who has already subscribed. Big shout outs to everybody who has put down their love and support on that Patreon. Yeah. Patreon.com slash for all nerds. Oh, it's beautiful. And we've already sent one update already um, to last week to everyone who's already joined. So if you are a new patron, you haven't seen that yet, check out the the message board, I guess you call it, still new to this. So, but that being said, really, really happy, surprised, shocked. I know I shouldn't be, but I am shocked. And I'm so, and we are all so grateful that you guys have actually put in some real money <laughs> and you believe in what our, what we doing. Like y'all believe in our vision. You see that we don't F around and we're making it happen. So we are always going to make it happen for you. And continue to support us and you're going to see some great things from us i'm not going to front i'm i was dead shocked we, 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 <laughs> we was like no i was dead, i was 100 percent shocked we posted that patreon and within 30 minutes yeah like 10 came in yep bro yep that's the case yo i need gas money <laughs> um a dollar a day a dollar a month will help me get from point a to point b point a being my house point b being the gym well, um. <laughs> we we here at For All Nerds, we don't misappropriate funds. So what we what we will be doing with the funds are things I'd, like I'd post post I'd post I'd what the hell am I saying? I'd post progress pics. That's okay. not appropriating. That's not. <laughs> um, 
But what we do with the money, in case people are asking, we do things like buy equipment. We do things like pay for fees to go into certain shows, um, get passes when we are covering things like New York Comic Con. Uh, when we need to bring on people to help us uh, travel. 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 <laughs> when travel. we pay people to help us. Yes, travel's the biggest thing. Travel's oh actually... God. Travel's, the, travel's also a huge thing right now because as Uber we, is not free. No. Uh, <laughs> ground transportation and air transportation. And the reason why I mention that is because remember how we keep talking about live shows. We're working on some things, y'all. Um, and that's what I'm going to say for now. Uh, we're going to announce things as we go along. But that being said, all of that costs some money. And we ain't got it like that. So we appreciate all the help that you guys broke, have given broke, us. Broke, broke, bye, broke. No, no, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. no, no. Worthy no, no. Dallas Penn. Yeah, no, come on, man. No, worth no. the Dallas Penn. You are not worthy Dallas Penn. You just have you're a temporarily deficient in funds, right? That's why he said. Yes, you are in between funds. You're in between you funds. Broke. So we're not broke. We're just a little. We're just a little cracked. Nope, no, 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 no. Because word to Dallas Penn, if you are broke, then you need fixing, and we don't need fixing. Hey. None of us need. Fixing. Send me that affirmation, King. Hey, <laughs> there we go. I'm just letting y'all know out there. None of us need fixing we are all right in what we are doing and we are doing the right thing so none of that fix and stuff none of that broke stuff we're just in between funds yes that's right so like we said thank you again please support us on patreon you go to patreon.com slash for all nerds and there you'll be able to join anywhere from one dollar a month to five racks if you pay the five rack option we'll tell you where we're planning on doing the live the oh, live show God. You'll you might be on the Google if, if, if you pay the five rack, if you pay the five, if, I'm telling you, if you actually go on a five rack option and stay there for a full month, like literally let us help us like that, I will give you a call every night. We're going to have <laughs> every single night for a month, okay? I'll, 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 I'll read a bedtime story to you. The Tatiana check in hour? Yes, I'll read a bedtime story to you. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Patreon.com slash for all nerds. Once again, thank you to everyone who supported. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. We here at For All Nerds. Thank you to everyone who's been talking to us, hitting us up about the name change from Fan Bro Show to For All Nerds. Thank you for all your comments, your questions, all your feelings, all the support, all the love, whatever. As always, hit us at contact at fanbros.com if you want to talk to us about any of that. But can we get into some of this news this week? Because, yes. I mean, this one, you know, I, as always, you, you already know what's going to happen, folks. <laughs> you, you, you already know what's going to happen. You know, it's like Charlie Brown is here letting you know if you put a brownish person in a superhero film, there's going to be some controversy. Okay, so. There's going to be some, yeah, a lot of, but, uh, but, but my you... childhood. <laughs> okay, first <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, I actually saw less of that this time around. I did too. I did. But that's because people don't think Oscar Isaac is um brownish. So we're talking about Oscar Isaac and the rumor <laughs> that's been floating around, which has since been debunked. But the rumor that's been floating around that he's going to be uh, the new Batman since, as you it know, wasn't even that he was going to be Batman. That was the thing. I never saw that rumor. People suddenly were like, oh, he's in Batman. He's going to be Batman. Well, well, I mean, that's the next logical step because people want to see it happen. So. <laughs> And and people said that because of various reasons. They're like, well, Batfleck, you know, he's doing his thing. And, and, and actually, all jokes aside, you know, yeah. uh, uh, peace right. peace to Affleck for, for taking himself to um, or getting help to go to rehab. Because, you know, as he mentioned, that's a that's a journey for him. So peace to him Oof. for real. Yeah. But um, but yeah, like I understand people wanting Oscar. I'm Oscar. Oscar is a fave. We want to see Oscar in more things. And he, generally speaking, I don't can't recall one thing i didn't like him being in oscar's How, in everything <laughs> he's in it well no now <laughs> however that has a lot of this stuff sparked a lot of back and forth on our timeline because mm -hmm. i i saw what i did see was a lot of people saying well your fave doesn't always have to be in everything um i did see the little bit of of the oh he you know he doesn't fit the profile i.e he's not white enough um, and, and I saw a little bit of the little silly stuff, but generally speaking, I actually saw a lot of thoughtful commentary around this, basically saying, you know, it, 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 just because it's your fave, and you guys tell me what you think, just because it's your fave, do they, should they have to be in every movie? No. I mean, I don't think so. I, and it's funny, you know, we'll get into this later, but we were, me and you were both listening to an old episode today when we were talking about Black Panther. 
and how this was like two years ago we were talking about the film and one of the things we said we thought john boyega was gonna be in it at that point because oh, yeah. rumors were going around that he was gonna be in it we were hyped for that mm -hmm. um michael b jordan had just been confirmed we had no idea who he was to be but we knew he was going to be in the film so we were Word. super hyped for that and then the other thing we said is that we want to see new unknown faces right. you know that is exactly what we said you can go back and listen to the episode uh blurs and wakanda mm -hmm. two years ago and we said this about black panther and then boom black panther comes out and you have Letitia wright becomes a superstar Absolutely. you have um mbaku uh winston right winston yeah. Duke. Winston, yeah winston duke become a superstar you know instantly off of this movie boom boom two right away and there's probably others that i'm not even mentioning i mean my man was already on the way up from get out so daniel was already on the way up from get out. but that definitely solidified him you know because he got to play you know what copy's worst oh so, jesus <laughs> you know that helped him out though so He's infamous now infamous right away so it's great, you know, and so that's the same thing. Like if Batman, I mean, Oscar Isaac would be incredible. I didn't even think about him as Bruce Wayne. No, no. Um, but oh my God, he'd be so good. Yeah. No, um, what's the name of the artist that's on Twitter that he created? Um, Boss Logic. Yes, Boss yeah. Logic. He And I think that's also part of it, why there's the, why the rumor ah, actually started starting to okay. He did uh, basically a side-by-side -side picture of the kid that plays Bruce on the Gotham TV series side by side with what would be a mock-up of Oscar Isaac as, as Batman slash Bruce mm. Wayne. And they actually kind of look alike now. Granted, yeah. granted it was a side profile, but I could see it. Mm -hmm. So that, that also was part of the, the stuff fueling the speculation. There. And shout yeah. out to boss logic too, because he, his art is so incredible. It yes. starts rumors without starting rumors. <laughs> I've worked with that dude for a minute. Um, Oh like this dude, like he he could wake up one day and put Ben Amin as uh freaking Doctor Doom, and yep. people would be like, "Yo, I heard I heard DJ Ben Amin about to be the next Doctor." Word <laughs> like, up. yo, I'm telling you, the legit rumor wow. will start. So it, it you know, I, I the way I feel, um, I lean with 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 Ben on this. I, I've been saying it for a minute. It's cool to fan cast, but we also fan cast it at a time where there weren't a lot of us at the forefront. It only seemed like two or three of us could be prominent at a time. And we didn't know who we had waiting in the wings. I, I saw, shoot, Daniel Kaluuya was on Black Mirror, the OG Black Mirror. He was. Yep. I remember him from that. He was in Sicario and he killed yep. him. Yep. Killed him. So, so I cool. saw him coming be beforehand. Like you, you see a dude like um El Elon Noel, who's um Daniel on Daniel. Insecure. Yeah. Um, that sounds like a crazy man. Sam Daniel in Kaluuya, but um, you know he's he did well in the purge. He could be on his way. His co-stars could be on the way. You don't know who who's out there who could play the roles. It's cool to fan cast certain stuff, but I, I think there's so much talent. Yep. so much talent out there that I would like to see somebody new emerge in the actual casting calls do their thing and, and let's see who it is because if if Idris Elba and this damn 007 ain't taught you nothing you need to relax sometimes with the fan casting. Word. Because they probably robbed Idris Elba of the chance of ever being Bond because it was so much drama before it even happened that he was probably like now he's like uh, you know if anybody approaches him he's gonna be like do I really want to deal with this in my life at this point? And that's, you know, that is why, like, it's something we've talked about on this show since the inception of the show is that we have to stop limiting things by what we've known and what we've grown up with and what we've been conditioned to think. Like, sure, okay, James Bond, blah, 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 blah. And sure, we'd love to see James Bond and we'd love to see Idris play a different role. But we've seen Idris play all these other roles. He's played original characters. He's played characters who weren't written as black before. Mm -hmm. So why can't he play James Bond? Why can't he do both? Right. That's always been the most bugged out thing to me. And that's what, you know, even with this, like me, when you're like, we're talking now and we're talking about Oscar and as great as Oscar be, now I'm like, yo, Daniel Kaluuya as Bruce Wayne, though? Ooh, that would be fire. I mean, Bruce Wayne's one of them hard ones because, you know, uh, family history of being rich and black kind of tight but you know maybe his family convinced you know invented the uh hair curl or something like that you know there's okay a, you know there's a couple things that you know we've had generational wealth in 
So, you know, even that, because I saw a uh, shout out to Mark Bernadine, and he wrote an article about why, you know, Bond can definitely be black, but Bruce Wayne, maybe not. And I agree with most of that. But at the same time, I also feel that at this point, we've had generational wealth for a couple of generations in certain families, at the very least, a couple. Mm -hmm. Well, I, th I thought also the whole prospect that Bruce also represents a very underhanded and insidious part of white supremacy that he that's why he all superheroes to be a white guy like all i mean i mean he when does he ever protect the poor <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, if you cut that cloth all superheroes do all superheroes yeah. are kind of fascist you know there's a lot of things if you get into superheroism that you have to put that to i understand bruce wayne is the worst of them because he's rich as hell and he has a lot of other options other than just beating up hoods i mean and, and being rich is not the end all be a, being rich doesn't mean all of a sudden now you just straight up you're not worth it. I'm just saying for that particular story. No, no. The point is that Bruce yeah. Wayne, you know, if he has this urge to put a war on crime, yeah. it, it would be best bet by using his money to do social reform instead of running around at night beating up on the Joker or every issue. So why do they break out of Arkham all the time? Did Arkham isn't funded? I mean, money, they're, they're, money, they're, they're, money they're, everything doesn't always help. It doesn't True. help them rehabilitated and they come up and they still fuck shit up. But whooping ass does. <laughs> one, of, one, one of the main, one of the main, hey, hey, what would you, what would you rather? What would you rather? Social reform. I'd rather him put money into the hood. And so that way the kids don't grow up to be criminals. Well, maybe if he so didn't. So you'd rather see that than be him beating on Joker or whomever. Yes. Yeah, I think, I think that's, I think, uh. I think that's that's, that's insomniatic <laughs> levels of woke. That, I think <laughs> that's insomniatic I think, levels of woke that I think is a little bit ridiculous. But I think that's I slightly disingenuous, but I, I mean, I get where you're trying, what you're tr trying to go with this, but that's well, also what, disingenuous that Superman is a fascist because he, he crashed on this planet <laughs> and decided to be a beacon of hope and help people. But no, 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 no. Superman, not as much, but at the same time, as we've seen in a lot of Superman tales, when he's taken to that extreme of what does it mean to be a beacon of hope and what if you don't live up to him? You yeah, know, like Red Sun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like Red Sun and like um the video game that everybody loves. Injustice. That's, injustice. That's yeah. the same thing. So that's, you know, at the same, like, that's what I mean. It's like we paint Bruce Wayne and Batman into this corner, but all superheroes are on this varying level. That was what was addressed years ago in Green Arrow when dude was like, when he confronted, when a black man confronted Green Lantern and he's like, you saved the purple people, you saved the orange people, but what do you do about the brown people? I mean, it was terrible, but you know, it <laughs> was like, like a bad line. Oh, ooh, it was, you know, it was the seventies, you know, Ugh. Yeah, Ugh. but you know, we were speaking Ugh. about our earlier episode, you know, and one we were listening back to, and today is the 25th anniversary of the U.S. debut of the Power Rangers. Yes. And at Most. that archive episode that blurred the Makanda. <laughs> yo, I was just like 25. I um, remember that day, yo. I remember my man break dancing. Like, I remember being like, oh, You no. watched it? You, yo, I wasn't around for that. You watched that? Yeah, I saw the debut, y'all. <laughs> I was there for that. Yeah, I was there for that. And I was wow. like, yeah. I remember, like, you know, being hyped. And then my man started breakdancing in the intro, and I'm just like, oh. See, when I was watching it, it was like, in syndication. I... When I watched the original, it was in syndication. And by, so when I got the, I, like the, was it the Green Ranger, like the dragon and all that stuff was happening? Oh, no. Okay. All right. True story. This is the craziest part about it. One night, like, this is, I was younger than this. Like, it was before the, it was before the debut. And one night, me and my boy, my best friend, uh, The Grime, we were up way late watching TV. And Power Rangers came on. The original Japanese version of it came on, you know. Oh. And so I saw like an episode of that, you know, without the kids in it. It's just all the, you know, the monsters and the dudes in the suits. And I think there's like Japanese people who get into suits. I can't remember because I was super young when I saw this. And then Power Rangers comes on. And I'm like, yo, wait a minute. I've seen this ish before. Because it was one of the things like when you watch late night as a kid <laughs> that you just never forget because it was so bugged out. You know, you're like, what the hell is this? And I saw it that one time and never saw it again. And then when Power Rangers come on, I saw it again. I was like, oh, wait a minute. I've seen this. Because, you know, there was Super hype for Sentai Power Rangers stuff. before it came on. Like, people were, you know, you it was like when that joint dropped, I was waiting for it, sitting by the TV. And wow. then it dropped. 
And I'm like, wait a minute, I know this. And this black dude is break dancing. Like, <laughs> you, know. you know, they have this to every, every no, stereotype. No, no, no. What was the worst stereotyping? <laughs> the black dude. <laughs> Where, the, the black, black rangers, the black, the black rangers, dude. The Asian girl was the, you know, the yellow. RIP oh. to her. Oh, God. Um, you know. The white, the white girl, girl with the pink, pink. ranger, oh, but, it's, but a skirt. And then at some point, I don't know, before I had the she was wearing a skirt. And I'm like, what the skirt gotta oh. do with it? Trying to get oh. bits off while saving the world. I feel it. <laughs> Yo, I, I keep it a, I keep it a buck. That show didn't really turn up until the Green Ranger showed up. Oh, of course. See, that's when I started. Yeah. When it the was green, the green Ranger. That, wow. Who came first, the White Ranger, or the Green Ranger? Tom. Green Ranger. Green. All right. Green. Yeah. Right between when the green and the white, that's when I started watching. I, like I said, I think by then it was already in syndication. Mm -hmm. mm, and then yeah. also, and there's also a reason why we brought this up. It's because if you guys don't know, we actually interviewed the original U.S. Rita Repulsa, Carla Perez. And we interviewed her two years ago. So we had a great time. We had a great, uh, I, I, it's a great interview because you learn a lot about her and a lot about her background. Like she's a Filipina and I, it's like a lot of stuff that I even realized. Like a lot of people, like she even said it. She thought people, people thought that she was Latina and all sorts of things. So, yo, it's a cra <laughs> crazy interview. And like I said yeah. before, it's like going back and hearing a two year old interview that we've done in a two year old show was crazy for us. So, y'all should definitely check it out. You know, salute to the Power Rangers 25 years later. Who the hell would have thought for real? That's like, that's like it's like the still going. And it's like the Ninja Turtles. Like, yeah, and it's still going. It's just like things you would never imagine that would still be popping. You know, Transformers, et cetera, G.I. Joe, Power Rangers still going. They say they're actually doing a sequel now to the one that just came out a couple of years ago. And I really like that joint. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like that movie. They, yeah. So they are going to do the sequel. They are going to do a sequel, and it's not okay. going to be a reboot from what they've been saying. So hopefully... So they're going to keep the same people? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cause they like, they, like RJ Cycler, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like them kids are gonna age up real quick, like you so, know. I mean, they were already high school when they started. Yeah, they got to do college now. That's fine. Or they, or like most times they they take peoples and they you know college age and make them play high school anyway. Yeah, <laughs> so, but I mean they could do a few year jump because it's been a few years, so they might have yeah. been like, "Effing, now they're in college and we move on." Well, well actually, saved by the Zord. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. You know, my man is not returning. Brian Cranston is not going to be bad for so saved by the First of all, that was a that was a waste of freaking time. <laughs> not for him. <laughs> that was the biggest <laughs> waste. Listen, he was just like, getting that mortgage money, okay? Not for him, boy. Yeah. Bills got to be paid and that was, was like, yo, my wife wanted to take a vacation. Yes. Yo, like why was Heisenberg in <laughs> Power Rangers? Right there, you said it right there. Be I am the one who oh. morphs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so shout out, wait, real quick. Um, yep, yep. I think Ninja Turtles turns 35 next year. Because they came out in 84. Oh, I'm so old. Um, Ninja Turtles turns 35. Oh, my God. So, you know, Oof, if yeah. your knees are, are aching and your back is cracking, I apologize. But no, no, I, mean, I feel good. I feel good. You know, I'm good. You know, just I'm do some hot yoga. Yeah, that's all we do. What is know? it called? Vinyasa? That's how we keep it fresh here on For All Nerds. <laughs> the year 2000 was almost 20 years ago. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks. 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 All right. And with that reminder of our, of our mortality, we will take a quick <laughs> break. And we'll be right back with more of the show.